Hi guys, welcome to video number six. We are almost done with forces. There are just a couple of things that I want you to understand before we move on and leave them in our dust. The first and, and really the last thing that we're going to talk about today is vectors. A vector is a type of quantity. Vector quantities are those, like forces, where direction actually matters. So, here we see that an object was accelerated across the screen, and if Porter had been pushing it in the opposite direction, then obviously the acceleration would be in the opposite direction. So if I were to draw free body diagrams of those, of those interactions, I would have Porter as this dot here, and he would be applying some force at first in this direction to accelerate the cart in that direction. It has weight, and the ground is pushing up on it with normal force as well, and he applied some force. And then he applied force in the opposite direction. Applied force, normal force, weight. This is what makes force a vector quantity. The fact that, that the direction in which something pushes matters. Unlike something known as scalar quantities, when the direction doesn't matter at all. So something like mass is a scalar quantity. If I were to say, you know, I have 200 grams of mass, I couldn't say that I have 200 grams of mass to the left. That doesn't make any sense. Whereas if I were to ask Porter to put 100 newtons worth of force on that cart to the right, he would know to put 100 newtons of force, <laughs> not down, to the right, to the right, right, thank you, where direction actually matters. So if I had said left, then he would push the cart in the, the leftward direction, and if I were to say stop, push it left, stop, push it left. So when direction actually matters, that's what makes something a vector quantity. So vectors are something like force or uh, acceleration is a vector quantity. We can accelerate in different directions. Velocity is actually a vector quantity. These are things where the direction that this thing is applied matters. Whereas things like mass or things, what else is a temperature? Where the, there isn't really a direction that they can go in. You can get more or less of them, but that's not a direction. So vector quantities, and if I were going to write a definition for vector quantities, I would say it's something that has an amount and a direction. Whereas something that is a scalar quantity only has an amount. This is the difference between vectors and scalar quantities. Again, vectors are things like forces, things like acceleration, things like um, velocity. Scalars are things like mass, things like temperature, things where they don't have a direction. If you tried to apply some direction to them, it wouldn't make any sense. Like you can't have an upward amount of kilograms. You can't have an upward amount of, of something like a scalar quantity doesn't matter. Um, that being said, why does this matter? This matters because sometimes you have opposing forces. Yes? Does, does wind have a vector, Mr. Green? Yeah, wind is a great example. Really what we're talking about is the velocity of the wind. If we have wind blowing in this direction, and it's met by wind blowing in this direction, they can actually meet. So the direction matters. Excellent question. Now. Does it matter for force? And I'd have to say yes. Because if someone was applying a force, we'll say to the, the left for you guys, the right for me, someone was applying a force, and I applied an opposite force, these two forces can cancel out. Where my direction matters and Porter's direction matters. And in fact, right now, <laughs> all right, yes, yes, OK, I get it, yes, right. Um, right now, well, before Porter started shooting, 
if I were to draw a, a, a dot to represent Porter's force, it would be in this direction. We'll call that 100 newtons. Now, to indicate that my force was in the opposite direction, what I can say is that my force was negative 100 newtons. And then these two forces cancel out, and we didn't have really any force on that object. But that's not really true, right? So maybe I lied to you when I was talking about Newton's second law. Newton's second law says that if any force is applied to some mass, then we will have some acceleration, right? Wrong. Really what I'm trying to say is that the sum of a force, of any forces, of all forces acting on an object will give us some acceleration. So it's the sum of these forces. This sign right here is called a sigma. And it just means the sum of. So if we were to come back to that, that uh, pushing an object, and we had Porter's 100 newtons, and my negative 100 newton, and I were to look at this and say, what was my acceleration? Well, I can say, what is the sum of my forces? Negative 100 plus 100 ends up with zero net force. So when we were in, when we were locked together, we had zero acceleration. We need to add these forces together. And that's why vectors matter. If we're going to take direction into account, one will be negative while the opposite will be positive. And notice that it doesn't matter which direction I say is negative. We usually think of this as a number line where everything on this side of the number line is positive and everything on this side of the number line is negative. That's not necessarily true in physics. In physics, we can it's arbitrary. Right? We're talking about a left and a right. We're not talking about toward or away from zero. This just means opposite to this. And we'll use that consistently throughout this time. I'll see you next time.